Good morning. Good evening, guys. I promise I'm going to sit still this one. I'm not going to dance. Um, so this is just not actually a planned video. I was busy doing some PCB design on Kika tonight. And I wanted to create some teardrops. And I realized that in Altium we can do teardrops very easily. But Kika does not have a built-in function for teardrops. So I know you can download and install plugins on KiCad plugins why does it sound so weird plugins uh, anyway extensions uh, so when people write programs in Python you can actually control a lot of stuff in KiCad so in this video I'm going to show you guys how to take plugins from the internet and install it into KiCad so I'm going to look at two different ones I'm going to look at the teardrop one and there's one called the HTML bomb and that's actually a very cool thing for when you generate your own bombs um, so yeah, so in this video I'm going to show you guys how to download plugins and then install the plugins into KiCad. Uh, so yeah, that's going to start now. So once you once you have opened KiCad, uh, you can just open the PCB you're working on. So this is one of our old videos where we showed you how to import step files. So on the top you'll see there's tools, external plugins, and you can see there's nothing. So here you can install from outside world different plugins, extensions to help make your life a bit easier, um, more efficient, making PCB designs. So to install this, you must download it first. So to download it, as you go to this website, uh, this GitHub link, I'll share it with you guys on the link below. It's from Niluya Pursuit. Not sure how to say that. Um, so it's a, called the KiCad script and this one is for teardrops so all you do is you download it and then you're going to save it somewhere that you save all your libraries or whatever you want to call it so i've got my kika library so there's my teardrops i right click extract it and i get this so you take the kika script master and inside you see a teardrop folder Take this folder and copy it. So now you have to go to where you installed KiCad. So for me, it's in program files, KiCad, then you go to share, KiCad, scripting, plugins. So that's quite a big link. I'll share that at the bottom as well. And all you do is paste it. Continue. And there we've got teardrops. So when you go to Altium now, it will not work. <laughs> So to get your plugin, you just go refresh plugin and then it will pop up here. So once we click there, we will scan set our teardrops. But I've not actually explained what teardrops are. So teardrops are basically, as you can see by this picture, is when a track goes from a smaller width to a bigger width to a via or pad, um, or maybe sometimes a track like this. So there's different reasons for it. Um, so one reason is that we etch a PCB with acid. So when we etch it, we don't really want 90 degree um, angles you can see with the track. We want it to be more smooth, otherwise you can get an acid trap. So you can read more about acid trap, just Google it. But it's when, literally what it sounds like when acid gets trapped in between the corners. Um, also with wires, they drill this hole. So it's very accurate, but sometimes it can drift a bit. So if we have a, a teardrop here, there's more copper to the via, so the chances of them drilling it so much that you won't have connection anymore is very, very, very small. So let's try it. I've actually not tried it yet, so let's see what happens. So I've got tool, external, teardrop, uh, include SMD, okay, seven teardrops. So let's see what happens. So there you can see, it made a nice rounded, it almost covers the whole circle. Um, let's see what happens at the bottom. Yeah, I did some there. You can see what it did there, and maybe here, yes, I've made a small teardrop here. So we can you can play around the settings. So that is basically what a teardrop is. I'm not too sure what happened here. This looks quite ugly, but anyway. Um, now let's look at the bomb. This one is very very cool. So for the HTML bomb, you just interactive HTML bomb. Sorry, it's interactive. Very important. Uh, you just go to this link, I'll put it in the bottom on the description of course, and you just download it again, 
It's very easy. Um, download it somewhere that you know it is. Uh, once you know it is, I'll keep mine in Kika libraries, Intel Bomb Masters, and we do the same. So we just take this. So it seems like every time you download a, a folder, it's always the folder in the folder. So you just take this folder, strange, copy it, uh, paste it where we are. So we see, no, minus D, program files, keycad, share, keycad, scripting, plugins. And we just paste it there. Mm. Close this. So we've got tools, external, refresh, tools. There we go. So that was easy. So we just installed two plugins. So this one is the interactive HTML bomb. Um, so yeah, you can just see your component order, capacitors, resistors, inductors, diodes, all that fun stuff, uh, where to save it, uh, what format. So you can just click generate bomb. A window like this will open. Look how cool this is. So it took all my components that I have, C1, R1, and it highlights it on the right hand side. I've got my top layer and my bottom layer, you see. You can put it in different ones. It will tell you how many components you have in front, back, SMT pads. So this is quite cool because yeah, sometimes when you get a quote at a PC manufacturer, they want to know how many is through old, how many is SMD. Um, so this is good for quoting purposes. But what I like about this is you can actually go, um, just clicking buttons now, front, back, you can see this. But you can actually go, okay, I have sourced this. I went on DigiKey, I went on Mauser, I got this. So it's ordered. And when I start, uh, manufacturing it and when I put components on I can say I've placed this I've placed this and you can just save it so this is quite a simple board imagine you have 500 components this is pretty amazing you can you know, sort it according to references uh, different values so maybe I see that I've got a capacitor that is or resistor that's 330 ohms I've got one 330 ohm resistor and I've got 200 470 ohm resistor can I not maybe make that 300 ohm resistor part of the 470? So things like this, that can help a lot with this bomb interface. I hope that makes sense, but I really like this interactive part of it. Um, just makes it seem quite easy because once you finish with the PCB design, you have to order the components, you have to source the components, which is actually the same as ordering. So ignore that part. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys see. How cool is that? How cool is that? And you can say board images. Different layers you can put on. Oh, have to be dark mode, of course. And this is an HTML file, so you can just share the HTML file file. So it's almost like a website, should I say. So yes, guys, we just quickly showed how to put in plugins, tools, external plugins. Oh, I went right. Refresh your plugins and you have to paste it into this long link i'll put the description again so that is exactly how you put plugins extensions into keycad so that was pretty easy uh, i just thought i'll make a quick video about this like i said when i learn something i'll share with you guys as soon as possible um, so yeah let me know what other plugins there are uh, just type google i saw there's a hacker day page full of plugins Plugins, it just sounds so weird. Am I saying it incorrectly? Plugins. Anyway, off topic. So, yes, where was I? So, yeah, we've got two plugins in there HTML and teardrops. So, now you can see maybe there's a lot of stuff. I know Kika can do RF calculations with some extensions. So, let me know what extensions you use, uh, what type of extensions would you want. Because uh, you can actually write your own Python script. If you go to Python, you can write your own Python script to do kick out stuff. Um, so yeah, this is a quick video, guys. Have an awesome week further. Uh, let me know if there's any help you guys need with PCB design. Always here to answer some questions. Uh, have a fantastic night until another video. Bye.